frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Okay. Hey, everyone. It is On The Ninja here. And, um, today I am going to be telling you how to make a Gary's Mod server using a thing called Evolve. Oh. Now, people are wondering, but we'll just use Hamachi. Hamachi's a piece of shit. Okay, just keep that in mind. Every time I use Hamachi, it slows in my computer, fucks everything up. It's just crap, alright? Don't use Hamachi. Yeah. This is gonna be how to make. This is. Evolve is really easy, you don't have to pull forward or anything. It's pretty, pretty sick. Well, connect. Uh, the one downside is that connecting can take a while, so. Yeah. I will either speed this up or just cut all this out. Yay! Okay. I'm back, everyone. So, um, once you have loaded up Evolve, and if you want to play Gary's Mod online, first thing you want to do is, like, actually, like, fire up Gary's Mod. So, let's just go back into Steam. Click on Gmod, wherever it is. I need to search it because i got so much shit on Steam. Alright, Gmod. We come up empty. <gasps> What's Gmod? No. Where is my Gary's Mod? I love the Gary's Mod. There we go. No, that's that's grid. No, there we go. That's okay. okay. So once this loads up, you have to. So when it pretty much loads up, you just have to go into single player. Actually, I'll just wait for it to load because it is pretty. pretty, pretty yeah. Okay. That guy looks like he's just embracing the power of God. Anyway, so you want to start up a new game. You know, Steam community, get out my face. Get out, get, get out the corner. All right. You want to click on any of these. I am currently broadcasting now. Okay, so you click on this. I recommend just four players or don't do like 128 because, yeah, just cheese will happen. Don't click local server. You can do all the settings you want. Max. This max NPCs. I love making it NPCs like heaps. So I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna do like a hundred NPCs. All right. So you go start game, and then we have to wait for it to load. And when it is in, you okay. So it's just loading. But this is good because you don't have to port forward. Don't have to use Hamachi. It's not a virus. I checked before, so. Don't be that guy who doesn't want to get it because he thinks it's a virus. I scanned it with fever with uh, two virus scans, sorry. Spybot and Norton. So yeah, it's pretty yeah, pretty damn safe. Okay, so once you're already in the game, using all these guns and all that. Like I am. Woo! <laughs> Holy crap. Okay. So once you've done all that, you you just want to press the window screen so you can tab out of it. Then, what you want to do is that you want to have to curate a party. So, curate party. Reject, I'm just rejecting that. C connecting to party check complete. Okay, so, send party invite. You have to send it to any of your friends, but currently all my friends that I have on Evolve right now are offline, so I'm just going to... Just say any, so let's just do midnight. Um, M Y T. Uh, midnight. And then if you want to add more people, it's pretty easy as well. I can add Thunder One and Zombu and all that. So if I want to send another invite, I just type in someone's name again. Okay, so once they're in. If you to actually play as one of them, you need to go up here, copy IP address, and go back in the G mod, and my body is still in a weird position. You want to okay, pretend, okay, just just pretend that I'm still here when I'm doing this. So I'm still in the server playing around, hey, blowing myself up. The next person he wants to get the squiggly line up. So this thing, I'm just gonna call this. Oh crap, no. Squiggly line, pressure shift to squiggly line. If you don't know how to activate it, it's fine. It's not really a big problem. All you have to do is go options, advanced options, enable developer console. I'm actually take that off. 
enable developer console and all that yeah so you just press the squiggly line and shift to activate it activate it same time then this is the bit that can get a bit tricky because sometimes it doesn't work so what you want to do you want to write okay sorry about that so um once you're in this you want to just type in ko connect then you want to add their IP but because of was already in it, it's not going to work. So if you're like at Midnight or Thunder 1, for instance, you just copy and paste, you just type this in, press submit, and you should join. Oh, I'm actually joining now. Okay, then. That's awesome. Okay, so let's cancel that. So it does work. So that's how you do it without Evolve. It's really easy. It uh, You can work for other games, but I don't know how to do it with other games. So sorry about that. But also, if you can only have, like, you can only have the host's add-ons. So if you want add-ons, you might not have any of them. But and if you have a, if you have like me, I have a Halo skin. So if you have a Halo like Master Chief uh, player model, the other person won't see it unless he downloads it. So then you'll just be a fat error running around, which is which it's pretty hilarious to watch. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Leave a like; it helps me a lot. Um, I hope this helped you. So I guess in return you can help me by liking the video and commenting on what you want to see next. More tutorials on that. Yeah. Like and subscribe.